video you'll only see on the one and only of a heartless heist at a business that brings joy to disadvantaged children. Thieves hitched a popular toy train to the back of a truck and then they took off. And the owner says deputies aren't doing enough to track down the thieves. Local 10 News reporter Christian De La Rosa is live with the exclusive. Christian. You know, this is so sad on so many levels. And tonight, the owner of this train tells us why he feels so helpless. What I like most about the train is kids, man. They have a fabulous time. I ride them around. They tell me to blow the horn. Can you please blow the horn, Mr. Jackson? Greg Jackson loves his job and his yellow train, the main attraction of his small party rental business where he employs kids, paying them 10 bucks an hour. <laughs> We have almost 20 kids on our payroll to keep them off the streets. You understand what I'm saying? But all the good fun has come to a screeching halt. Watch the U-Haul driving to Jackson's warehouse unit on Southwest 21st Street in West Park. Here's a close-up of the suspected driver. And here's the moving truck as it hauls away the yellow train. It happened Monday morning just before 4 a.m., all in less than 10 minutes. Jackson says he immediately called police. To the police officer three hours to come. He told me that I can't file a police report because I don't have a serial number on the train. Deputy Johnson, no first name, no nothing. I feel helpless. Here's another look at the train thief. You're taking food out of kids' mouths. What would you tell the person that did this? To whoever did it, rethink your thoughts. So, have you seen a yellow train being dragged around town? If so, it may be stolen and belong to Mr. Jackson. Calvin Nicole, I'll tell you this, Mr. Jackson also offers work to members of a halfway house in the area with a criminal record in an effort to help them. So he does have his suspicions, but he tells me he's willing to take this train back. No questions asked. Back to you.